If you've bought some produce from a store like ShopRite and the label says edible garden, well, you may be buying it from TerraTech, but TerraTech is potentially going to grow another type of crop. And joining us now is the CEO, Derek Peterson, to tell us about that different crop. So, Derek, uh, you grow right now normal stuff like herbs and lettuces, but you've got your eye on another crop. So walk us through this decision. Yeah, that's that. That's correct. We uh, we have greenhouses around the country right now. We're cultivating what we like to say everything that Simon and Garfunkel sing about. So, <laughs> thyme, rosemary, et cetera, and so forth. Um, as a farmer, we're always looking for what we think might be the most profitable crop that exists out there. First off, and second of off, we we look at the cannabis market. And we we see a pretty fragmented market right now. A lot of the product that's out there being distributed is grown in warehouses and garages and people's basements and it's time they've had access to commercial grade food grade quality product and that's what TerraTech hopes to be able to bring to the table specifically in some of the developing markets like Nevada. Well every state is different they all have different laws and ways they want to work this marijuana industry some of them want the dispensaries to grow their own so is it difficult trying to adjust your model to all these different markets? It's extremely difficult. I mean, every market that we enter is a different political landscape. It's a different legal structure. There's residency issues. We've built a pretty aggressive lobbying team and a legal team to help us maneuver and navigate through these pretty complex environments. Um, California, for example, is, is mandated at almost a local level because they don't have any real broad state initiative. Uh, Washington and Colorado just adopted you know, legalization from a recreational standpoint. Nevada right now is uh, is what we see as one of the best markets, and that's one of our primary focuses. Because it's a for-profit state, they're doing multi-state reciprocity, meaning they're allowing cardholders from other states to purchase cannabis when they're in the in the in the state's boundaries, and that's a pretty pretty supportive and, and good environment for a public company like ours to be able to operate on. Do you worry that you'll get any critis criticism for being corporate cannabis? Because it seems like a lot of people in that sector don't like the idea of big companies coming into their their industry? That's a good question, and, and it's, it's interesting. We're approaching it from the same angle as we did the produce market. People love our produce brand, and one of the reasons it's caught on so drastically is even though we're a large company, we adopt local farmers to be able to grow products locally. So whether you're buying in New Jersey or whether you're buying in Chicago, you know you're getting it from a local farmer, but you also know Edible Garden's brand standards are high quality, no pesticides, et cetera, and so forth. And we think that people will appreciate the same side on, on, on cannabis. They'll appreciate the fact that they're getting stuff that's grown in food grade quality facilities. They'll trust that they're not using chemical pesticides and those types of things, but they're also gonna get it from a grower and a farmer that's cultivating it within the state's boundaries. All right, well that's TerraTech and it sounds like they're going to be going from one herb to another. And I'm Deborah Borchart with The Street.